Hey guys, Dr. Daniel Chiropractor here from South East Inactive Health. One of the first questions that people often ask when they come into my room for the first time is, why do you have a bed in your room? Well, the reason being is because we often discuss the importance of sleep, how it plays a pivotal role in your mental and physical health, but also how it can play a very, very important role on your recovery and reducing your healing time. We often discuss things like tips on how to get a better night's sleep, the importance of sleep, and also uh, how to choose the, the correct mattress or pillow uh, specific to them to help them get the best out of their, their sleep and to make the most of their recovery. We're going to go through the specifics of sleep, all the different aspects, and we're going to give you guys some practical tips to use at home in order to make sure that you're getting the most amount of your, the most out of your sleep, but also because it plays such a pivotal role in your recovery, which is something that obviously we're very uh, passionate about here at getting people better as fast as we can. So what I wanted to cover today really simply was the three biggest things that people ask me about sleep is, why do we need sleep? Why is it so important? Uh, what does it actually do? And how much do you need? So the first question, why do we need sleep? Well, sleep is a vital component of our, of our body's day-to-day -day process. It's how we uh, maintain a healthy heart. It's how we regulate our hormones. It plays a pivotal role in our weight control as well. And it's very, very important when it comes to optimal health and well-being. So sleeping is very, very, very important. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, the second thing, what does sleep actually do? Well, this is really an interesting question because a lot of people think when I go to sleep, my mind switches off, my body shuts down, and I wake up the next day and that's it. That's actually not the case. Even though our physical body is asleep, our brain is providing or our brain is, is, is performing some critical uh, stages in order to help our bodies function better for the next day. So the first thing it does is it actually helps process information. So if you think about all the things you learn and all the things you take in on a day-to-day -day basis, when you sleep, your body actually transfers that information from short-term memory and processes that and puts it into your long-term memory. So if you think about studying for an exam or learning a new skill, trying to ride a bike, trying to juggle, we learn this new skill and when we sleep, our body actually consolidates that information so we're able to remember it and use it the following day. The second thing that we do when we sleep is it actually helps restore tissue. Now this is very important and this is something that I often talk about with my patients. When we sleep, our body actually heals itself. So if you've got an irritation or a sprain or a strain or you've got some tissue damage in your body due to an injury, when you sleep, your body actually restores and heals that tissue, again, helping your body recover faster. And the third thing that it does, and this is actually more specifically for our athletes or anyone that's trying to strengthen their body, when you sleep, your body actually builds strength. So when you're asleep, your muscle fibers grow. When you go to the gym and you work out and you want to get the gains the next day, sleep plays a vital uh, role in that because when we're asleep, we actually strengthen our body. Again, this is important for our athletes, but also our people here that want to increase the stabilization, make their bodies nice and strong and resilient to stop them from getting re-injured. The third question, how much sleep do we need? Well, this is a tricky one because everyone's body is different. Uh, if we were to take an average, we would say that for an adult, 18 and above, we're looking between seven to nine hours of sleep a night. Uh, if we're a student, a little bit younger, so something between, let's say, someone between six and 17, they need a little bit more sleep. So we're looking at somewhere between nine and 11 hours. And as a toddler, if you can imagine how much learning a toddler does, uh, someone between the ages of one and two, they're really experiencing the world for the first time. So as you can imagine, they need a lot of time to process the information. So toddlers need a lot more sleep, somewhere between 11 to 14 hours a day. Now, uh, I'm gonna leave you with one tip uh, with regards to sleep uh, before I leave you today. And this is really about making sure that you get the most out of your sleep and you're sleeping efficiently. One of the things that people often um, say that they struggle with is actually getting to sleep because their brains are so active. Now. We spend a lot of time of our days looking at screens and computers, TVs, tablets, smartphones, all that sort of thing. And what that does is it puts our brain into a higher brainwave or to alert brainwave, which we call beta. The other thing it does is it emits a blue light and that blue light actually inhibits 
a hormone called melatonin, and melatonin is the hormone of sleep. So we want that melatonin cycle, we want that melatonin to be released in order for us to fall into sleep. So my best tip for you in order to help slow your brain waves down and in order for you to get to sleep faster is to try and reduce the amount of screen time you have before bed. Anything over half an hour is a bonus. Read a book, relax, uh, try and do things to help calm your body down, to help calm your mind down so that you're not thinking about too many things and that should help you get to sleep a little bit faster. I hope you found the video informative. We look forward to seeing you at the clinic soon. Have a great day.